Hey, uh, so I just want to do a really quick tutorial for the SP404 MK2. Um, it's kind of like my lazy way of bouncing stems so I can throw them in Ableton uh, to do a proper mix down. Uh, so right now, each of these pads here has some stems that I bounced, um, but I need to bounce some more stuff. Uh, so what I do is I use the pattern, pattern chaining and then just resample but I mute each uh, section, so I have however many samples I want in each group uh, playing through. So, um, one second here. So I've got two pattern chains. So one of them has 16 patterns, uh, and then the other one has four because you can have a maximum of 16 patterns in a chain. So what I do is I just mute whatever I don't want in a stem and then just resample this entire pattern chain to a new sample. So now I've got to do the second set here. So if you hit remain, uh, you can switch repeat to off so that way it'll automatically finish when you're done so you don't have to really pay attention at all. You just resample the chain uh, and then you know mute and unmute and go on to your next uh, set of samples. So let's do that. Sorry, I've got like one hand holding my phone here. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of stuff here. This is all the vocals. I don't want these first, so I'm gonna mute them all. Uh, and then I'm gonna unmute these. So now if I go back here, All of my patterns are just playing these chords. And then resample. I'm using this separate, or a, a, just an empty bank here to put all of my stems. So I'm gonna have six of each for the two pattern changes, pattern chains. So if you hit hold, select the pattern chain. And then it's just gonna play through. And then you'll see once it's done uh, playing through and recording, it will just automatically stop. So you can do this while doing other things instead of having to manually play through the patterns or resampling each pattern individually, which I saw someone else doing, which is a pain in the ass. Again, sorry for the audio quality. I am being lazy, didn't want to hook up to OBS. So yeah, it's done. Uh, so down here, we now have the stem for that. So I'll just go through and then mute these, unmute the next set of uh, samples that I want, and then just record the chain again. Uh, and then connect to the computer and just drag the samples from the pads to the desktop or wherever you want. And that's it. Cool.